Hey guys, welcome back. Well, uh, today a first time for MS Tutorials. First time ever I'm going to do a tutorial in Marvelous Designer. We're going to use a Marvelous Designer 7 and I'm going to show you guys how you can easily create a set of curtains for your scene in, for example, Maya. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, here we go. We're in uh, Marvelous Designer 7.0 and let's get started with our curtains. Okay, so I'm going to start with my rectangle symbol up here. And I'm going to left click and drag and create something like this. All right. Now, this is actually going to be a placeholder. Uh, once I simulate my curtain, uh, gravity will kick in and I don't want the uh, curtain to fall on the floor. So we're going to right click on this guy and we're going to go up to freeze. OK, so that will stay in place. Next, we're going to take that rectangle again and we're going to make another rectangle, but wider than the original one. And we're going to pull it down to about there. We're going to do one more, even wider than this one, to about there. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to do one approximately the dimensions of the original one. OK, now, believe it or not, this is basically it. OK, I'll show you how that works. We're going to go to the symbol next to the sewing machine here. So we're going to go to segment sewing, the second symbol. OK, we're going to click on it. And once you hover over these elements, you see how that blue line uh, pops up. We're going to click on that blue line and we're going to click on this guy. Once we do that, you see that threads or, or lines show up in our 3D view. We're going to continue to do that here as well. So one and two, and we'll do that here as well. One and two. So now everything is connected. Now the one down here is going to be a design element. And the reason why we're taking a, um, a rectangle that's wider than this one is in order for us to create folds in our curtain. OK, so with this all in place, it's time to run a simulation. And the cool thing about Marvelous Designer is while the simulation is running, the only thing you have to do to stop it freeze frame, if you will, is just to hit the space bar. And if you wanted to continue, you hit it again. And once you're satisfied with the look of the curtains, you'll freeze it right there and export it. OK, so here you go. It's calculating. And it's starting to simulate. Now, depending on your system uh, resources, it's going to be faster or slower. Now, keep in mind that I am uh, recording um, at a pretty high resolution right now. That's why my system is so slow. And you can see that the, uh, the whole thing is touching the floor there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to edit the pattern. I'm going to take this guy and move that up a little bit. OK, so now it's not hitting the floor. And let's hit that simulation again. And there we go. We'll give that a sec. I think he needs to recalculate. There we go. All right. Now, I could, for example, hit a space bar right here. If that was the look I was going for, but it's not, so I'm going to hit the space bar again, and we'll just have that play out. And I'll kind of move in a little bit so you can see it, see what's going on here. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so I'm going to hit the space bar right here. Let's say that this is the look that I'm going for, okay? If that's the case, I only have to go up here, drag select everything. And then I can simply go up to File and Export. I can export this as an OBJ. I can export parts as OBJ, FBX, and so forth. I can even export a limbic cache if I want. All right. So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you want to see uh, more Marvelous Designer videos, uh, please let me know in the comments. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.